Yeah, morning guys. Uh, just uh, out here feeding the koi with some beautiful medikoi uh, food there. Then gone very shy because I'm standing by the pond. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I thought I'd um, jump on just to show you this. Um, I made myself a, an upflow filter. I think it was last year I did this. Um, so what it is, it's like a, a fine particulate filter. You can see it's sort of working at the moment. Um, I made this, obviously I've ordered the uh, acrylic tube um, from uh, an acrylic... Oh, there they go. They are alive. Right, so, um, yeah, so what I've done, I actually... Um, a few people on the internet have made these things, but a little tip I wanted to show you was um, actually the uh, the way that I, I put it onto the wall, because I saw a lot of people sort of cable tying and blocks of wood and stuff like that, but... Um, I don't know how I came across it, I was my bright spark sort of moment, but what I did, I actually bought these, um, they're, they're like a ducting um, stay that you put these, you know, like hot air extraction and stuff like that, if you're putting in like a fireplace or something like that, one of these cold burners, so, um, which seems to hold it really nicely, it's rubberized, you know, because you've got to be careful how you hold these things, so, and the idea is that some of the water, you know, obviously you're using sort of like gate valves and stuff, I can control the flow, up into the water flowing up through uh, the filter um, and then it goes um, originally it just could flow back into the pond um, and then obviously this mechanism here where you can once you do a boil which I'll show you now um, I've got the switch down here so if I put the uh, switch on for that here we go and down here if I put that on you can see this air pump here then blows via that was the hard part is making this drilling that hole into there, I was very nervous about doing that. Um, it, it will actually boil, this is K1 media, and it'll actually boil the media, it's blowing bubbles up through the media, um, and cleaning it all off, and when I say cleaning, it's, it's knocking off all the sort of algae and the, the, the uh, grime that gets covered. And the idea was, what you would do usually, would shut, you'd shut the, the water off, um, and then you'd boil it for, you know, 5, 10, 15, whatever you want to do, minutes, 20 minutes, and then you'd, um, with a hose, I used to just get onto the, onto the garden over here. I would just, you know, just pull it and vent the whole thing, the whole dirty water, um, which I, I, I still do when the, you know it's dry and stuff like that. But then I had another brainwave, which was actually to convert. I had a water butt here, um, and it was kind of staring me in the face. And I thought, well, I, I really want to make another filter. You know, I like adding filtration. I don't think you can over filter, to be honest. Um, well, there's probably a certain point you can, but I'm, I'm obviously not doing it at the moment. So what I've actually achieved is, I've, with the water butt, I've actually cleared the water butt out of its, um, you know, it used to, it used to come off the, the greenhouse. Um, so what I've done is I've actually installed um, a, like a, a filter in here. Um, it goes down through a little bit of fine floss and then it goes through all the different, you know, the, the sort of the white, the green, the blue um, sponges and then it goes down through a lot of um, like media, like bulk media that I've stacked up in the main body of this and at the bottom there's a tray that holds that media up um, and there's a void space there for water which I can, if it gets really dirty, I can tap off using the original spigot there and then obviously, so what's happening now is I, I, I like this idea because what I was doing, it, I'm doing now, is boiling the water off but it's still going up into the filter. I haven't turned it all off, you know, because I can do that. I can just switch the whole thing off and then let it vent. But I believe that um, also that at the moment I'm, I can, I'm a sod for walking away and just leaving this thing and forgetting about it. Is actually, as I'm boiling the, the media, the, the media is actually going straight back in and, getting, and then I can, all I can do is just take that filter pad out and actually take it away from the system completely so um because it is a bit of sometimes <laughs> i suppose laziness on my part um you know i can't be bothered to go and get the hose unreal it plug it all in make sure it's nice and tight sometimes it pops off that sort of thing so this is just like a lazy way of doing that but that's i thought i'd pop on and show you the idea of this is once it's oh, let me turn it off a boil for a second once once it's um you'll see it start to float back up again the idea is the water from the entire system because these these two ponds, this is the sump pond for uh, the system and this is the obviously the main pond. Um, the idea being that water will, is travelling up through this and it's, it's a bit like a, like a sand bed filter but in line inverted. It's the water's running, rushing up and going down through. 
and obviously the, the dirt will get to a certain point depending on the size of it and it will sort of get trapped so this tends to get dirty at the bottom and it goes all the way up you know to the top sort of thing but so let me put this back on bubble because I forget to put it back on but yeah I thought I'd show you that today if anybody wants an idea of how I made it's the most expensive part of it because these these you can all you can buy these you know on the internet or you buy Cockney Koi, all these sort of things. So basically, it's a reducer. I've reduced it once to a certain size of pipe, then reduced it again so that you can get the sort of 32 mil. This is all screw fixed, by the way. Most of this stuff. These are, I think, these are old uh, wheel turn. I think these are. I thought they were Cockney Koi. So, um, but yeah, what it is, it's a fine particulate filter. It's just, a, it's a, just another sort of string to your bow, really. Um, but I didn't like. Um, you know, I think Owase make one, but it's white and it's not as big and it doesn't hold as much media. But if anybody wants to, you know, an idea of um, how you can do it, this is the this is this is the, the, the thing I thought of myself, which I'm quite proud of, is that um, you know the hot vent extractor stays. All you've got to do is drill it onto a wall or a fence post or something like that, and you're, you're good to go. I'll use two of those. Um, I don't think they're particularly expensive. I think they're probably 15, 18 quid each or something, but. It does actually do the job really, really well. So, anyway, guys, I'm going to get off. So, um, have a good day, and I'll speak to you later. Cheers, bye.